got the tournament going. So, without further ado, let's get our participants. Introducing first, he's the man, the myth, the legend, and probably one of the biggest guys I have ever seen in my life. This guy is so sick and twisted, his name doesn't do him justice. That is Beery. I hate to interrupt my show off in the kick ass and CWA here. I'm gonna come in and co commentate if that's alright with you. Cool with me if it's cool with you. That's fucking awesome. This Gary guy, he is ferocious, so his name is very appropriate, would you say? The thing about Fury is, he's big, he's strong. Don't let that just be the definition. But his opponent maybe has the most legendary career ever. In the backyard, he is known throughout the world. I give you the California kid, or as he is known in Japan, the California kid. I like that. That's cool. That's his name. That's how you say it. Kata -kata. He defines what Backyard is about. He has the heart. He has the determination. He has a lot of nice things about a guy you hate. It's part of my job. I have to do it. You're not one. I think that's going to get thrown out the window later. And there's the bell. Now this is going to be a fucking fantastic match because both of these guys have renown in the Backyard Wrestling, the Front Yard Wrestling, Side Yard, Building Top Wrestling. What other wrestlings? I see where you're going. But the thing is, Cali has to worry about if he gets in any position, that power bomb position, Quick you person. know the tranquility bomb is going. That's right. And he will be tranquil because his ass will be knocked out. Exactly. Side, side headlock. Side headlock. Uh, beautiful Irish kind of strip. That's the duck. Polynesian middle. And he has the power. Oh, oh, my, baby. Baby. oh my god. <laughs> oh man. That would make Fury the most I dangerous man. That. that would make Fury so dangerous. That strip. His will to do anything he wants is with he, you. Is he a master of bone setting practitioner? Ah, he could. He's working on his back like a masseuse. He's probably setting him up. He's setting him up for the tranquility bomb. Will we see the one? Will we see two? Or will he finally hit that dreaded number three? We got Jimmy the Shifts McGee over on the side of the ring taking some pictures for us today. Hired him for a, ba a basket full of Cheetos. Yep, it goes. That trademark DDT. No. Oh, yeah, him. Particle suplex. And let me tell you, seeing that close up, it's amazing. The height. One, two, two point three, three, I would say, ladies and gentlemen. 2.99, as Cali would say. Wow, ah, that's close. Ah, I hate that. 2.99, whatever. That is annoying. Set up. There it is. There it's it is. trademark DDT. The it's damn tranquility. That's what DDT stands for when he does it. Oh, wow. And he just placed a shoe print on his cheek to show territorial uh, maneuvers. <laughs> wow. And you can hear it. You can hear Callie screaming in pain. That's right. You tell him what to do. You establish your goddamn dominance in that ring. Setting him up. Could it be that German? Oh! God! That German suplex. Deadly. I, I can't believe what I just saw. He may be dead too. 2.4 again. 2.4. That's German in the shades of Vic Van Vader in Japan when he knocked out Toshiaki Kawada and Kobashi with that same German. Working on the arm. Without that arm, he's not gonna be able to pick you up. Smart strategy. Indeed. Inverted key lock. Inverted key lock? What the fuck is that? Methodic methodically just destroying his damn arm. That's a smart strategy. If I was him, I would do the same thing. Just a hair's breadth away from that five count. He almost lost it. Is he crazy? No, actually, that's a smart move. Take as much leeway as you can with a guy that's bigger, stronger than you. And what... 
Is this a single arm choke? What is that? Camel clutch with the cutthroat on it. Man, I hope he's okay down there. Now tell me this. Switch, sweatpants, gym shorts, which has the advantage? I take gym shorts. You gotta overheat. You can overheat in pants. So that's why you see a lot of wrestlers like Kevin Ace Keen. <laughs> And you can see Cali is taking his his time oh. dissecting oh. viciously oh. destroying the midsection, oh. I would say. Uh oh. Trademark Cali going right up, here. Going up to the second rope. All going the up way. to the top rope. Holy shit, high risk maneuver attack. There it is. Oh, oh, fun, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh. One, two, no. That oh. was believable. Oh. I would I say can... that was an effective oh. high risk maneuver, wouldn't you? That is trademark Superfly Snooker. But Cali does it to a percent that is unmatched. Oh, I am uh. down. That Fury is able to kick out. This may be Fury's uh, chance to win. Uh, right there. Just kidding, didn't say that coming. Uh, uh, he is slapping the shit out of him. It sounded like a fucking turkey at Thanksgiving. Uh, and you can hear it coming off. And he charged it up. Uh, Fury! Nobody home. Boy, bring it a miss. Missing the legs. Good legs. Oh, God almighty. Oh. These, oh. these men are exhausting themselves. Oh. I just can't believe this, Mr. Styles. What is going through them right now? How? What are they pulling from? Ah. It has to be. Oh. A there it is again. Our ah. first key lock. Yeah. Ah. He's working on that arm. Oh. Man, he better oh. unlock that shit. Oh my God. He ain't gonna make it. He's in the ring. Ah. Can he do it? California. Ah. 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 Fury almost got his foot on the rope. He's got his foot on the rope. Is it broken? Oh. You can see the pain. And he, he finally let you go. Oh. Yo, if I were Fury, man, I'd just say, let's go in the back and have some fucking chicken wings. Uh. You're whooping my ass right now. It's not about uh. that. If you know you, it may seem bleak, you can always turn a victory out of defeat. Uh. That was beautiful, man. You should be a motivational speaker. Uh. No. I don't think so. I'd rather stick to playing poker. Okay, that sounds good. You can make money doing that, too. Um. Uh, is complete control right now. I don't know if Fury has it left it. Uh, 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 uh oh! It could be! Yes! Axe uh, guillotine! Uh, Axe guillotine! Oh my god! He's, he's obviously dead. Why are you even kept two? No! Back drop driver! I Look. thought he was dead. How is he alive? I don't know. I'm assuming that his visit to Japan included some cybernetic surgery. Because any human being will be dead from that. That's all I'm saying. Very going to uncharted territory. Uh, but he got back up. Uh, uh, you never see uh, Fury going to the middle uh, rope. Man. Top rope, beautiful brawl. Just back and forth, switching them around like some dudes in a bar, man. That's what real uh -oh. men do is they punch uh -oh. each other. Uh -oh. What's he doing? Uh -oh. Danger position. Uh -oh. What's going uh -oh. on here? Uh -oh. What's going on? He's say power he hooked ball. the leg. This could be power He's ball. got one leg hooked. This could be a freaking Oh, fight. no. He got him. Oh, he can't watch out. Oh, oh my god, damn shit ball! Oh, I can't fucking oh, hit what I just saw! That's gotta be he's it! He's dead, dude! No way he's alive! One, two... Was oh, that a 2.9? 2.9! 2.9! I've ever seen! <sighs> this is ridiculous! We've seen Cali kick out of a super... <sighs> I cannot believe this! Both of these men are true representations of what a wrestler should be these days. We've seen Cali are... kick out of a Super Falcon Zero. We've seen him kick out of a Super Backdrop. Uh. But I have never, ever seen a uh. kid uh. kick out of a Super Powerbomb. Uh. This guy is like a cockroach. I may have said this time and time again, but he's like a cockroach uh. can't kill. Whoa! Uh. Straight into another submission. What a master uh. submission he is. Uh. I'm really uh. impressed. He's trying to roll through. Uh.
Brandon Tyler Gear, but he's like, supposed to take kill. Whoa! Uh, Straight into another submission. What a master uh, submission he is. Uh, like, I and that's what's important. What <laughs> these men have proven today is they are champions. Regardless of the belt, regardless of what anybody says, these men are what wrestling is all about. It's not about fucking photo shoots. It's not about having beautiful tights. It's about getting in there and kicking some ass. Alright, Sakarafoni Akito, Maestro Awesome a kick ass from MCWA here, along with Gino Valentino from New York. Oh, you mean MCWA, yeah, that's correct. Hey, how you guys doing? Doing, doing alright, so. Gino, uh, I think you got a question for I the do. man. That, that seemed to be a tough match. Uh, how do you feel about it? How was it? Uh, for me, it's, it is what it is. I've been doing this for years. Uh, facing Gil out there, didn't think I'd have to face him today. That's why I'm, you know, I'm like this. I don't, I don't think about the next round. I'm going to make it through the next round. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was Gil, man. It, it, it happens. Let me ask you this. You are a masterful mat technician, to say the least, and I saw quite a few submissions out there. Now, the one that won the match, I had never seen that before. Please tell me a little about it. Oh, that's just a little innovation I got from my buddies in Japan. Um, goes out in Japan. I haven't. I, I kind of innovated a little bit and modified it. Um, I haven't named it yet though, so there'll be a name coming for it. Though I also have another new submit. I'm gonna I have another new trick. I'm gonna show y'all at some point coming up. I'm gonna recommend the California Dream. I'm just gonna say it puts oh. you to sleep. I'm gonna recommend it, but it's up to you. That's why we pay this man, ladies and gentlemen. And final question: With your win in this match, where do you think that puts you in BACW? Well. It's it's just one small step. Uh, there are a lot of opponents I've been on a bad losing streak for a while and looking for, uh, looking to get myself back in the game here. Um, BSW was a different style, kind of caught by surprise, I'm more used to intensity brawling style. Um, I hadn't really wrestled in years, um, but I'm starting to, this, I'm, I realize now that I'm going to have to pull out my old wrestling um, techniques back and start doing a little more research, bring a little bit more hard, harder game. Um, going to keep beating people. It's going to keep keep beating people. Well, I'm at the other until I, until I get back to the top. Uh, I'm going to get the title again. I was GWC champion. It takes a lot to get there. I'm, that's why I'm used to it. I'm not. I'm everything. It, experience brings patience. Experience brings a lot of patience. Hello. My name is Fujiyama. I am from Tokyo, Japan. I have a question for you, California Yakido. Hi. What makes you love Japan so much? Um, it's, it's just something that, that builds up over time. Um, can you understand me, get a translator? Hi, hi, okay. Okay. Uh, good, good, hey. good. That means he understands. Okay, great. I understand. Okay, excellent, excellent, yeah. But, but it's just one of those things that's developed over a while. Uh, you know, one of those things, you know, it's just like my Converse. I always wear my Converse to the ring. Um, those are my best Converse. I always wear my best game when I wear this outfit, the old gray school outfit. A lot of the fans on YouTube always comment about it, so it's one of those things, you know. It's just one of those things that I do, and today I brought my gray school outfit because I wanted to bring something special to the fans. I'm going gonna, gonna to get some wins today. Well, on behalf of Japan, I would like to say thank you very much for all you do, and many people love you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much.